Hi, my name is Leo Barrett. I am the technical manager for Heidelberg USA Consumables. Today, we'd like to talk a little bit about blankets. A blanket, when you purchase the blanket, you can specify whether you want a four-ply blanket or a three-ply blanket. Typically, we would run a four-ply blanket on your printing units. Now, every blanket, regardless of manufacturer, is stamped on the blanket, the canvas side of the blanket, a size, the gauge, this blanket is 77 thousandths. This is a Saphir Pro 300, which is our premium blanket. The roll number, roll numbers are very important. If there is a problem, we need that number. And the date that it was actually manufactured. On paper packing, it will typically have the gauge on it. Now, some paper packings do not have any gauge on it, so you either have to use a micrometer to mic it, or you already know from the box on what it is. Okay, so to start off, I need to know the undercut of my blanket cylinder. The undercut on a blanket cylinder on a Heidelberg press is 90 thousandths. Okay, to make things very simple, when I pack a blanket, I take the 77 and I subtract that from my 90 and that's the amount of packing that I need. Right, if this blanket said 78 or 76, which is the range of four-ply blankets, then I would again subtract that from 90 thousandths. Okay, so for this demonstration, we're going to start off with the packing. This packing says it's 16 thousandths. Now, most print shops have a machinist packing gauge or micrometer. Okay, you can see that with this, I'm coming up with 17 thousandths. Now again, you have your variance in your micrometer, the way the guy had, had adjusted it, the tension of the micrometer itself. So I, my recommendation is go by what the manufacturer of the material says. If I use a digital caliber that has a larger foot, and I again mic this, I come up with 17 and a half thousandths. So the feel that I had with the machinist micrometer is good. However, this says 16, don't worry about it. You're splitting hairs. Okay, when I mic a blanket, you should never, again, mic a blanket with a machinist caliber. You should have something with a larger foot area, and you should mic it in several areas. So if I take my caliber, digital, and I come here, I have exactly 77 thousandths, and I come here, and I have 76 and a half. That's very typical. On a larger blanket, you can have a variance from side to side by maybe a half a thousandth, quarter of a thousandth, just from one end of the blanket to the other. Just use your mathematics, pack your press right. I recommend on a brand new blanket to pack it to 92 thousandths. So blanket plus packing would equal 92. If you pack it to straight 90, then you'll run about 2,000 sheets and the blanket will drop because all blankets drop. It will probably go 2,000 below the bear. Now you really can't print correctly. So just go a couple thousands over on a brand new blanket. Okay, now when you mount the blanket onto the press, you have your tensioning bolts. Now, new Heidelberg presses, 102, 105, 106 presses, VLF presses, we give you a torque wrench with the press. In your operation manual, it has the specifics of Newton meters on what you should torque your blankets to. Every press manufacturer has a slightly different torque, and it will go by the press manufacturer and not necessarily the blanket manufacturer. If you don't have a torque wrench to come with your press, we supplied a blanket wrench. Now this blanket wrench is for a 102. If you had a blanket wrench for the 74, it would be longer. If you had a blanket wrench for a 52, it would be shorter, and the handles would be much shorter, probably more like that where my fingers end. <clears throat> That's so you don't over torque the blanket. Do not put your body into tightening the blanket with this type of wrench. 
Just use your arm strength. So good luck with this and happy printing.